Doug Karsh in Bloomington, Indiana for MGoBlue.com, and this is Michigan Rewind. A year ago, the Michigan Wolverines started the season 4-0. They were ranked number 22 in the country before winning just one of seven Big Ten games. The Wolverines were trying to prove that this year would be different, and it started with their fifth game against the Indiana Hoosiers. Michigan and Indiana, Frank Beckman and Jim Brandstatter have the call from the Michigan Network. Denard gets the snap, looks right, runs quarterback, draw up the middle. He makes a man miss, cuts up field, 40, 50, 45, 40. There he goes, down the sideline, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Michigan. Denard, who said the sign? Denard Robinson said the quarterback. And Michigan, just like that, gets a 73-yard burst. Denard has two backs with him. He fakes it to Smith and then fires a quick screen left oh, and completes it to Roundtree, who ran right around the cornerback out there. Matt Ernest and takes it down the sideline into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan, 32 yards to go ahead, 13 to 7. And once I caught it, I saw the safety come down, and I, I knew June was going to, you know, block the, the cover down, and I trusted him. And once I got up on the defensive toes, I just shook back in and I ran to the touchdown. Second down and four to 15. Out of the gun, Chapel rolls right. Pumps, pumps, now throws toward the end zone. Intercepted by Cam Gordon at the goal line. He heads out to the 10, 15. Hold on to the ball, Cam. He's to the left of Denard in the gun. They change the play. Denard's going to run a sweep to the left. Behind Vincent Smith, gets to the corner. Turns up field. Whoop, around a man, 20 to the 15. He's hit from behind and chopped down around the 10. Denard in the gun, same formation. Two tight ends on the wings. Vincent Smith to his right. Denard fakes to Vincent, going to keep it, lob it on the bootleg to Koger, who's wide open at the goal line. Touchdown, Michigan. Second down and eight. Denard fakes the ball to Vincent Smith, throws a slant, complete the Hemingway. He's in the clear, stiff-arming a defender at midfield. Chased from behind at the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Michigan. Junior Hemingway, 70 yards. And the Wolverines are back on top. The hare has struck again versus the tortoise here at Indiana. We came out and uh, we saw how the safety was playing, so uh, we called uh, our route adjustment. And I uh, ran my route, stuck uh, DB, came over break. Denard had the ball in the money. I just caught it, made one man miss, just took it to the house. But Hopkins in the lineup for the first time. He's to the right of Denard. Vincent Smith to his left in the gun. They're going to run to the right. Hopkins a blocker. Vincent, he's off to the races. Great blocking. He's down the sideline. 25, 20. Chase from behind. Shakes off a diving tackle at the five, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Vincent Smith. 56 yards, and the hare is back on top of the tortoise. 34 to 28. Out to the right. You got Deweese Wilson and Terrence Turner, Chapel. Going to throw. Here comes Mike Martin. Chapel tries to stiff arm him. Martin says, do you, do you know about my wrestling history? And he wrestles him to the ground. That's a pin. I just saw uh, Banks out of my peripheral, and he was getting good penetration. Uh, I just kept on going. And I didn't know if Chapel really had the ball at first, and then I saw that he had the ball when I was wrapping him up, and I, I saw he was trying to get rid of it, and I, I was trying to put my hand up to make sure he wouldn't dish it off. But, you know, it was just a great sack, a great play, and uh, we had good coverage. You know, from the secondary that allowed me to get that. He being Tandon Doss and Terrence Turner. A chapel instead is going to throw left, and nobody covers Willis. And Willis steps inside of pullbacks at the five and goes into the end zone, 19 yards for a touchdown with 1.15 to play. He's got Stoneham out to the left, round tree slot right, Hemingway wide right. He's got the snap, and he is going to throw. Late pressure. Fires as he's hit. And Hemingway adjusts to the ball and makes a great catch inside the 10. We was at the line of scrimmage, looked over at the coaches. The coaches checked the play. And um, the DB was off at first, then he came down. And I was like, oh, man, oh, man. So, oh, man. So I came up the ball, ran right by him. I was like, Dora, please throw it. Please throw it to Dora. You know, I threw it up. I saw it. I was like, I got to make a play on it. Got to make a play. I just came back for it, half one in the ball, and caught it. But Denard's got the two tight ends on wings, left and right. Vincent Smith in the backfield. Denard's going to keep it. He's going to run left. He gets a block from Martel Webb. He lunges forward. Touchdown, Michigan. Shoelace is in with 17 seconds left to play in Bloomington. 
Denar Robinson with another huge day offensively and has a chance to go over a thousand yards rushing on the season next week against Michigan State. He was the player of the game. I feel pretty good, man. After that big win like that, that's a uh, good start for the Big Ten, so that's a good thing. All right, once again, you lead a last-minute drive. You get the ball, you're keeping it on the ground, but do you feel like that's as good as throwing it with you on the ground? I guess it's as good as throwing it, I guess. That's not good. And were you thinking get into field goal range, or were you thinking six? Uh, I was thinking don't, don't do nothing to turn over the ball, and uh, we, we could get a field goal to win the game. That's smart thinking. And then the pass to Junior, did you see something before that play was snapped? Did you know you were going to him? I knew I was going to Junior. I knew Junior was a big-time play, big player, and I knew he was, he was going to go up and get the ball. And obviously the touchdown at the end, you read that one and just get into the air to dive into the end zone. Take us through it from your perspective. Man, I seen the Martell made a block on one of the dudes, and uh, I cut off his block and I dove in the end zone. So the Wolverines back in action as they go back to the big house next Saturday. Michigan and Michigan State will both be undefeated. We'll enjoy this win today, but come tomorrow, it's on Michigan State. You know, we, we really got to be focused this week because, you know, they got us the last two years, and it's time to, to reflip this. You know, we got to flip it back to Michigan style. And we'll be here once again on MGoBlue.com to wrap up the Wolverines and the Spartans on another edition of Michigan Rewind. So long from Bloomington, I'm Doug Karsh.